Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Free to Play. This is Hawken Beta. Currently in Steam Early Access, you can pick this up and play it for free. It is a free to play titled, therefore it does have a marketplace. This game, I should start off with that. <laughs> this particular game is a mech assault game. You take control of a mech, as you can see here. This is the starter mech. This is the CRT recruit. Effectively a TV on legs with a, you know, windshield wiper at the front. In it's a decent little mech. <laughs> but you can buy new mechs for real money. So if we go over here, here are all of the mechs that you can buy. And as you can see, you can buy pretty much all of them with these blue or the orange money. The orange money is the meteor credits. That is your real money credits. That is what you pay real money for. For 750 of them, you pay about $5. As you can see, I have 500 of them. You get those for completing something. I think your first objective, you get 500 meteor credits. It's just completely free. They've just been like, here you go. But after that, from what I understand, you don't get any more for free. You have to pay for them. And then you've got the Hawking credits. These are what you earn in-game. So for completing missions, completing objectives, certain amount of kills, I believe, give you a little bit extra. It does take a lot longer to accumulate them than you would think in some other games. That's actually kind of a major complaint I've seen about Hawking, is that it takes so long to get these Hawking credits. It also takes quite a while to get XP. Although, I can't really complain with it for the type of game it is. Because, as you can see, I already have 7,000 credits. I've only played a few matches. And, yeah, there's mechs that I can already buy. You know, I can buy three mechs right now. And, possibly, with one more match, I'll be able to buy these ones that are, like, 7,600. So... I, I personally don't see a problem with it. I'd like it to be higher, but I don't see it being a huge deal. You can also get these HC boosts, which what these HC boosts are is they are XP boosts and, well, they're like an XP boost. They give you more when you complete a mission. You get that 1.5 boost. I think it actually says, yeah, purchase a boost to earn 1.5 times the Hawking credits. You can get the same thing with your XP, but you obviously can't do that with the Meteor Points or the Meteor Credits because that's real money. So let's take a look at some of the other upgrades that you've got. So here, here's some of the boosts. So your Hawking Credit boost is 166. So if you wanted a seven day boost, that's about $4 for Hawking Credits and I'm going to say $3 for the XP boost. Consumables, these are consumables in the game. These are things that you would use. I don't use them. The hollow emotes, you have a little, well, it's a hollow emote that you get to pick. Where you can deploy that within the game and kind of taunt other people with it. Emblems, you can buy all these emblems. Only a few of these can be purchased with Hawken credits. The rest are purchased with Meteor Credits. Some of them are a little ridiculous in the price, but whatever. And that's pretty much it for that. Now you do have your garage, so you can customize. So here's the hollow emotes. So if we check on a... Yeah. So here are our emotes that we can have. We got a run piggy run, no rider, so it's just teabagging. Okie dokie. They're, they're cute. They really are cute. I'm just going to stick with the okie dokie, and I have 45 of them that I can use. And then there's mech emotes, so you can have your mech do a bow. 
or you can buy the rest of them so you can have them teabag the rooster they're quite comical <laughs> all right anyway no, enough of that crap you can fully customize your mech as well so this is just for this mech each mech has its own set of customizations but these are purchasable only with real money they don't do anything they are just for appearances and i'm not particularly big on appearances so i don't really care but they're, they're kind of cool like you can get some pretty nifty looking things for your uh, recruit ones that don't look like a tv in fact it's just the fred upper that looks like a tv uh the high fram upper kind of looks like it's a tv behind a shield but it's a smaller tv i like the bigger screen tvs you can also change the color of the accent, so I have my accents kind of a peachish color. <laughs> I guess it's pink. I don't know, I just picked color. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I focus on pink so much lately. All right, anyway. So that's the customization and everything. Like These are not mechs that I have. I have to purchase these mechs but it does give you your standard mechs at the top here. And each mech has its own specific kind of thing that it can do. No mech is particularly overkill as far as I've found. They each have their strengths and weaknesses. The CRT recruit is kind of an all around. It's not particularly strong in anything, but it's not particularly weak in anything. So it's your good all around, get you started kind of guy. You can, if you are good, you can actually do really well in this mech. I've actually seen some people do pretty good in this mech. I don't know if they had any like upgraded weapons or anything, but they've done fairly well. But let's hop into a game. So we've got a couple different modes here for games. You've got your squad match. So if you have a team and you can create a party, you've got a friends list, you know, all of your friends can be on here and you can do a team match i believe they require six yeah it says six versus six so you need six people on your team and then you would go up against another team of six benefit of this is obviously you're in your team you're probably on team speak skype whatever communicating directly with each other and you can coordinate what you're doing it's a better coordinator you're an actual unit versus you know the versus match which is you just get thrown in with a bunch of individuals so i'm gonna do deathmatch actually no let's do missile assault missile assault's kind of cool deathmatch is what you would be used to where you guys you've got your two teams and you're just trying to slaughter each other you know, time runs out or you kill enough. Missile Assault and Siege are almost capture the point. Like, let's hop in here. And essentially what it is, is there's these missile towers that you have to capture. And when you've got them on your team, you actually get, you're attacking their base. It's kind of cool. And first base down to zero loses simple as that okay so here we are in the garage of the arena so we got our game chat here there is voice comms although I've never seen anyone use them and here is what's happening with the team the, the battle is going on right now so there's been three minutes going so far so i'm coming into a game in motion so i'm just gonna launch you can change your mech a bit but i would recommend doing it before the battle and if you get into a battle that's currently in progress oh i don't think i've ever been on this map i, I don't remember so as you can see you've got these you know s3 s2 S1. Oh, is that? I think that was a bad guy. So you've got your radar down in the lower left. 
Die, you scum! Ooh, ah, I'm hurting. I am gonna repair myself. Probably not the best place to do it. Nope, definitely not. As <laughs> soon as I saw him, I should have stopped and buggered off. But it looks like our team is winning. So here we go, we go back to the garage, you can change things up. But I only have one mech and one loadout, so there's really no point in me doing that. So as you can see, I'm boosting here. And what that does is it uses your fuel and obviously makes you go faster. And then there's this these energy points, which you can collect. I, To be honest, I don't know what the energy does. Now, if you're boosting, your weapons go back and you can't fire. S1 is oh, recapturing it. Now, you can do a quick boost. Where'd he go? I guess he blew it up. So you can do quick boosts, or you can do fast boosts. There's shields that you can drop down. You know, apparently help was requested. I, I don't know where said help was requested. Hey! <laughs> I need to pay attention. Hey, I've played with that or played against that guy before. <laughs> I recognize him. He's killed me many times. I shouldn't Sorry, assume it's a he, but, started. you know, whatever. So. I am actually having a very, very bad game. I, I'm not, I don't generally have a particularly good game. But. I, <laughs> I tend to do a little bit better. Uh huh. So it looks like pretty much everybody's here. We got a smelly bastard. Where are you? He done did blow it up. I only got a couple shots off. Silo three. Oh, silo three. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah, I am doing absolutely horrible. Oh man, I made a mistake, made a mistake. Oh, you little bitch. You little bastard. Yeah, you, you take him out. Thank you, sir, I overheated. And I am hurting. So, as you can see, you can repair yourself at any point in time, but it does make you more vulnerable. Uh, there's upgrades that you can get that will slowly repair you. Actually, I think I have that upgrade. Whoa. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, friend. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Oh. Whoa, shit. I'm not going to survive this. Nope. Yeah, not very good at this game. <laughs> and I am doing especially poorly. So you can also, you can switch between the different guys. It just shows you... Whoa, I was going sideways. Oh, good. So we need to get our butts in gear. We're doing good, but let's get out of here. Die, Atlanta. Ha-ha! Got a direct hit on the little bastard. Dude, get out of my way. 
trying to go in. Where are you? Dude, don't get in my way. You are no more. So I am going to come up here. I'm going to drop a shield, stand inside the shield. Now this shield only protects you from rain. So nothing can come in or out. Oh, I thought... <laughs> but that's a perfect example of what happens when someone comes into the shield. They can take you out. I actually thought that was one of my guys. Apparently I was like, you know, color stupid there for a second. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking today. I am doing just horrible. So Silo 2 is... We kind of lost a bit of control. Hey! 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 Am I being shot from behind? No, this just this guy. Ha ha ha! Got him. I am hurting. Nobody come up behind me. We're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. Now, usually you can pick this up, but apparently I can't. Oh, hello! There's two of you. There are two of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got pooped. Crap. Well, at least Silo won. So only a couple more hits and they're... they're gone. Like, we're gonna win this very, very soon. Uh, where's Silo 2? Oh, got stuck on it. Oh, you little whore. Fuck you, eh, bitch, eh? Ha ha! We won. No thanks to me. What that guy did, that was really stupid. Dropping a shield and then repairing yourself. <laughs> As you saw, that doesn't work. And I did it. I did it when there was no one around me at the time. <laughs> so, and we're going to see my score, which is crap. <laughs> Once it comes up. And you can do stuff like that. <laughs> you can hover. Big whoop. I I'm not a big showboater. So here's what I got. So daily win. Oh, no. Get back to earnings. So 250, 77, and then 106. So you, you do pretty good. You know, and then XP, you get pretty good. So it's, it's quite nice. Like if I go to the scoreboard, I am the lowest. But I'm not actually that low, to be honest. 382, and I came in three minutes in. Like, I don't know when these guys came in, but yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to leave the match because I don't want to do another one right now. But that is basically what Hawken is. It's actually really, really fun, uh, especially when you don't uh, basically do every mistake in the book and totally not know what the hell you're doing. I haven't played this in a, about a week and it shows. Oh wow, does it show. I was starting to not suck so horribly. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to defend myself. I still sucked. <laughs> but, you know, wow, that one was bad. I made so many mistakes in that. It's just not funny. So we're just going to stricken that one from the wreck and pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed definitely go check it out if it looks like something you might enjoy it's not that big of a deal the way they've got it balanced because everything is balanced to everything else you can technically go in 
with like the lowest of the low, basically this pile of crap, and still do pretty good. I've taken out some of the defender guys, and I'm not good. I'm not good at all. So if you go in and you spend a thousand dollars on this game to get all of the mechs and them all kitted out with, you know, all of the gear and you just go nuts, it's really not going to help you that much. It really comes down to your skill. That said, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.